Has this ever happened to you? You sit down with a pen, a notebook, a pencil or your paper, a brush, a canvas, a computer to draw or to paint or to write that novel of yours and you've got nothing. You're blank. You feel empty. You can't get an idea even if your life depended on it. No, 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 man. No, no. I've got, I've got no ideas. Come on. Don't, don't shoot me. Come on, I've got no ideas. You have no ideas because you have nothing to say. What? You have no ideas because you have nothing to say. I've got no ideas because I have nothing to say. Yes. But I don't want to say anything. I just want to, you know, draw. Yeah, but if you want to write, draw, anything's fine. Yeah, but if you want to draw something, you gotta, you know, you gotta... Uh, no mind. Almost two years ago, I came across a video of one of my current favorite artists, Jake Parker. Hey, I'm Jake and today I'm drawing a drone racer. Jake is a visual storyteller from Utah. In other words, he's an artist. He creates comics, makes books, teaches people art, creates these worlds filled with beautiful characters and story. And he draws these insanely cool looking robots. God, how on earth does he do that? Was the first question that popped into my mind when I saw that. And he sort of did answer that question through one of his YouTube videos called My Creative Bank Account. My Creative What? A creative bank account is simple. Think of it like a vault for a creativity that exists inside your head. You can access it, put things in or take things out from it. It's like a storage space for your creative ideas. But it works exactly like a regular bank account. You can only make a withdrawal only if you make a deposit. And if you try to make a withdrawal without making a deposit, it's called theft. And there's a whole another rabbit hole which I'm not willing to go in right now. Yeah. So how do you deposit into this creative bank account, you ask? Well, it's simple. You do it by consuming things. Consuming things that you like. Books, movies, TV shows, cartoons, stories that you've read, board games that you've played, things that you've admired or grown up with. Surrounding yourself with the works of people who inspire you and most importantly, the stories and experiences you've had in the real world, in real life, from friends, family and people. And that's how you fill your bank account. Whenever I sit down to draw in my sketchbook and find myself nibbling around with my pen not knowing what to sketch, a thought pops up into my head. You don't want to say anything, that's why you couldn't draw anything. And that's true. I don't want to say anything because I didn't have anything to say. I soon realized that having anything to say comes down to the things I choose to put in my head, my creative bank account, and processing and coming up with my own opinions and perspectives on it. And once I started doing that, a funny thing happened. That feeling of I've got no ideas was a lot easier to deal with.